former Bachelorette contestant Trista Sutter, who holds bragging rights as the very first contestant to actually find true love on the reality TV hit dating show. Well, now Trista is revealing her secrets to finding that happily ever after and how you can do it too. I asked her why so many have failed where she and her husband, Ryan, have succeeded. I feel like if you compared the relationships from The Bachelor and The Bachelorette to the real world, that, you know, you go through a lot of different people, I mean, from the time you start dating, maybe in high school or whatever, until you're a grown adult, unless you're really lucky and you meet your high school sweetheart and get married. But um, most people, you know, go through a bunch of different people. So I feel like maybe it's not as bad as it seems. And of course, we, we all remember watching your wedding. It was turned into that extravaganza on ABC, a whole TV miniseries. Some 26 million people watched you guys get married. L let's revisit some of that. By the authority vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Will you please kiss your bride? Wow, so there you go. 10 years ago. Do you have any regrets on making what is, you know, such a private thing for so many people so public, putting your wedding on TV like that? I don't. I, I had my fairy tale. Um, and yeah, I know that people say that it should be um, kept private, but, you know, our relationship wasn't private to start with, so we felt like we wanted to share it. And and honestly, they did a really good job of hiding the cameras, at least for me. They were, they were in the trees and, you know, all these crazy things so that it wouldn't feel like a million people were watching it. Yeah. And, of course, the only other televised wedding that got so much attention since yours, except for Prince William and Kate Middleton, was, was of course, Kim Kardashian's wedding to Chris Humphreys. We all know how that turned out. Uh, there are reports now that Kim and Kanye West, who are of course engaged, are thinking about televising their wedding, which, which, which wouldn't be shock, shocking, of course. Do you think they should do it, or do you think, you know, maybe this one, keep it to yourselves? I actually would be really shocked if she did it on television, because Kanye seems to be so private, and especially when it comes to their daughter, you know, I watch the Kardashians, and I, they've been really private, and he hasn't been on the show, so I can't imagine that that will happen. And you've written your first book. Look at that. Uh, by the way, I have to say, I'm very intrigued by the title, Happily Ever After, The Life-Changing Power of a Grateful Heart. That just makes me smile saying it, but you could probably explain it better than I could. Oh, I love that you're smiling because of it. It's really about all the different relationships in your life. So it's broken down, every chapter is broken down into a different relationship. So the relationship you have with yourself and appreciating yourself the relationship with your spouse or your significant other, your kids if you're a parent, friends, extended family, strangers, coworkers, and then it talks about like how to say thank you. I am basically just sharing stories from my life and others who I feel can convey that if you if you truly live consciously with gratitude, then your life will be happier. Excellent advice there, and I'm thinking a great way to kick off the new year. My thanks, of course, to Trista Sutter. You can find out much more about Trista's Happily Ever After in her new book, which is available online and in stores everywhere.